hi guys how are you welcome back to my channel thank you so much for stopping by if it is your first time here welcome thank you so much to stop Thank you so much for stopping to watch this video. If you are one of my subscribers, my sugar cubes, welcome back. Welcome back. I'm doing multiple reaction videos today. And I'm going to be reacting to Keto the Great. He is, um, this is the World of Dance Bay Area. Uh, yeah. This is his newest video. I think it came out like maybe a week, week or two ago or whatever. But I like Kiddo the Great. I, I think he's very, very swaggy. I like the fact he's young. You know what I mean? Um, other than Rubik's and some young break dancers that I know, there aren't too many young dancers, like I said, that I know who are, like, really doing it. So, yeah, let's just get right into this reaction. <laughs> From the battle with um, Kida and Jabari versus the twins, like, Kida was super swaggy. And I've seen Kita dance with um, the deaf dancer, Shaheen. Is that Jabari with him? I think that's Jabari on the left. Hey, you see what I mean by swaggy? I don't know who the guy is on the right. Comment down below if you guys know who he is. Alright, um, real quick. Alright, I know you... I don't want you guys to get annoyed because I have to keep stopping, but it protects me from copyright and I get a chance to talk to you guys. Is there, it's like, alright, you guys are knowledgeable, so I'm going to ask you guys a question. Is there a name for the move that the dancers do when they, like, move their clavicle and shoulders, but their head stays the same? Like, you know what I mean? Like, their head stays here and their, like, body goes like that. Comment down below if you guys, if you guys know what I'm talking about. Is there a move? Because, like, I feel like they just kind of did it and I love that. I love that move. Someone told me that the um, move I like in breakdancing is called a muncho. Shout out to you. Shout out to you. But yeah, comment down below if it has a name. Their control is good too. Ooh! I love it. I love it. I love it. He's like, alright, come on crowd. Come on crowd. Like for real. Like, get hype. I know he's young, but I know he's in his teens. And I believe he's in his teens. Hey! <laughs> I love the glitch, and they're so in sync. <laughs> I like it. I like it a lot. What I like about Kid is there's never a boring moment. There's never a boring moment. <laughs> oh, I think I know this song. Wait, who, who are they? Oh, okay. I definitely know the girl on the right. But I've seen her in his video with the Death Dancer Shaheen on Instagram. I don't know her name though. <laughs> hey, hey. Oh, this song. This song. I just want to say, like, um, when I see people dance to this song, it gets me really mad if they don't go in. <laughs> the only reason I know certain songs is because, like, the dancers dance to it. And there's nothing worse than a song that has, like, you can tell a song is real hype, it gets the people going or whatever, and I swear this is not, like, a pun <laughs> or anything, but it gets people going. And, like, the dancers is being mediocre or they don't have the energy to match it, so he better go in. <laughs> I love the fact they're young. Like, this gets me so. I love it. I love it. Yes, Rebirth. Hey. He is swaggy. He's swaggy. Hey. Come on, Q. 
here. I'm always hungry. Why do I keep hearing food? I heard them say collard greens. Even though Kita is very, very flaggy, um, I'll, I'll wait until the end to tell you. <laughs> that's not bad. That's my favorite move. Like, that's something I can do, like, swaggy and effortlessly. That movie just did. That's what I don't understand. They'll, they'll bleep or censor certain words in other songs, but they leave. I don't know. It, it bothers me. <laughs> like, I just want to say also real quick, like, I like musicality, and I like when you see musicality differently in, in everyone. Like, we know the twins, like twins said musicality, we know Blueprint has musicality, we know Schizo has musicality, but musicality is one of those things that it's, this is how I define musicality. When you hit every single beat in the song, I mean every every you, when you just represent the song with your body, that means the lyrics. That means the 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 um, subtle parts of the song, the high parts of the song, the songs, the parts of the song that aren't obvious to the regular untrained ear. That they have to go back and watch it or listen to it again, rather. And it's nice to see musicality different in everyone. So even though he's not like. And that's how individual dance styles come in. So even though he's not like doing, because uh, I've seen other people dance to this this particular song, even though he's not doing the same thing, like he's still hitting the beats. I just want to say that. <laughs> His ankle. Can Kita do a slip? I've never seen Kita do a slip. But he's real swaggy and effortless with it. I, I like that move too. I see Schizo and um, Legit do it a lot. Aww. He ended it so sweet. <laughs> Crap. Oh, jeez. I'm not mad, but that's a beautiful photo. You see what I mean by like for being like a photographer and like having silhouettes and stuff. But anyway, like I was saying, what I like about Kita is that he's, I feel like he's very swaggy. All right. He is younger than most of the dancers that I watch. So he's catering to a different generation. Granted, I'm not in his generation. I'm not old, okay? <laughs> but I'm not in his, in, in his generation. But I like the fact, like I just stated, like, you see musicality different in everyone, and I like his type of musicality. I like his dance style. I like it a lot. Comment down below what you guys think. I, I, I like it. Like I said, I don't, I'm not, I can't remember the girl's name on the top of my head, the one who was on the, um, the right of Kida. Like I said, I've seen them dance all together with the death dance of Shaheem. If, comment down below if you want to see me react to a video of his. I'm not sure if he has videos on YouTube, but I'll definitely, um, look into it if you guys are interested. But yeah, that was my reaction. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Comment down below what you guys think. Do you think um, he was holding back? Do you think he hit the beats? Like, let me know. Also, let me know the name of the other guy. I know the guy in the white was Jabari, I believe. But I don't know who the other guy that was on the right Akita was in the beginning. Comment down below if you guys know that. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to leave me video recommendations to react to, you are welcome to. Do so in the comment section by only ask, please. Please do attach the video link so I know which video you want me to react to and there's like no mix up or whatever. But thank you guys so much for watching. Like this video, subscribe to be a part of the fam, and stay blessed. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.